The sculpture Chariot by Alberto Giacometti is another piece that demonstrates the principle of unity. The thin lines that he creates with the bronze are all analogous in width. Giacometti also creates a symmetry that helps to unify the piece. This symmetrical unity is created through the design principle of balance. Balance can be defined plainly as an achievement of equilibrium. This equilibrium can be either actual or it can be implied. In 3D work such as sculpture, balance is both a design principle as well as a structural necessity. If an object is not structurally sound, it may topple over. If you remember Michelangelo's interest in rolling historically important artworks down a hill, we already know that Giacometti's sculptures are not the best candidates for this experiment. We all strive for balance in our own lives. We need to go to school and work hard, but not at the expense of maintaining a social life. To quote Jack Nicholson, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. On the other hand, if we have too much fun, we never get a chance to succeed in our lives. Looking at balance as a personal struggle helps us to understand why we find comfort in things that have visual balance. Within the realm of balance, there is symmetrical and asymmetrical balance. Both may apply to either 3D forms or to a 2D composition. With symmetrical balance, there is a near or exact matching of two sides. This silk painting from the Ming Dynasty in China is a wonderful example of nearly perfect symmetry. If a line were to be drawn through the center of this composition, the two halves appear to mirror each other. The figure of the emperor implies a great deal of mass as he sits balanced in the center of the composition. He seems to be telling us that he is not planning on leaving his throne anytime soon. Architects will often use symmetrical balance to reinforce the actual structure of a building. Aesthetically, this symmetry also implies a soundness of structure. Symmetry puts our minds at ease knowing that the buildings we inhabit don't look like they will crumble to the ground. The White House is a famous example of symmetrical architecture made in the neoclassical style. Many artists choose not to create work with perfect symmetry for the same reasons that they may choose the principle of variety over unity. Because some artists may find perfect symmetry boring, they can choose to create work using asymmetrical balance. With asymmetrical balance, the left and right sides of a composition or object are not the same. Asymmetrical compositions are often referred to as being dynamic. This means that their off-kilter balance conveys a type of action or energy. Unlike the strict geometry of symmetrical balance, there is no absolute formula for establishing asymmetrical balance. It is often just up to the sensibility of the artist to know when an asymmetrical work is balanced. There are a number of rules that help dictate how to balance a composition that I will illustrate from this drawing of jockeys before a race created by the French Impressionist Edgar Degas. First, large forms attract more attention than smaller forms. In the example of Degas' jockeys, the large horse on the right commands more attention than the smaller ones on the left. Secondly, forms gather weight as they near the edge of a composition. When a form is pushed toward the edge of a composition, it pulls our eyes like an anvil off the edge of a cliff. Thirdly, complex forms are heavier than simple forms. When a form has more detail or definition, it commands our attention over a form with less complexity. And finally, intense colors are stronger than pale colors. Forms with muted colors tend to recede, while forms with intense, saturated colors come forward. For all of these reasons combined, the horse on the right is the clear winner of the viewer's attentions. Here is an example of asymmetrical sculpture made by the American artist Richard Serra. Sarah's massive sculptures are made from bent industrial steel, the same kind of metal used to make the bodies of large ships. 
Because of their materials and scale, the works look almost architectural to the viewer. The difference between these sculptures and conventional architecture, though, is that there is nothing that anchors the steel into the ground. The metal is bent with industrial machines until it is able to balance on its own. This concept is no different than bending a piece of cardboard until it is able to stand on its own. Sarah uses asymmetrical balance to make us feel uneasy. We walk around and inside his sculptures, knowing that they have no foundation and may pose a real danger. Considering that one person was actually crushed while installing Sarah's work makes this potential danger all the more real.